The Holy Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to Matthew. Glory to you, Lord Christ. As Jesus walked by the Sea of Galilee, he saw two brothers, Simon, who was called Peter, and Andrew, his brother, casting a net into the sea, for they were fishermen. And he said to them, Follow me, and I will make you fish for people. Immediately they left their nets and followed him. As he went from there, he saw two other brothers, James, son of Zebedee, and his brother John, in the boat with their father Zebedee, mending their nets. And he called them. Immediately they left the boat and their father and followed him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Christ. In the name of God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, amen. amen. Please be seated. I bring you greetings from your diocesan staff. We're here to help you in any way we can. And I am especially happy to be with you all today on your patronal feast day. I need to tell you all how much I greatly admire your rector. I think he's one of the finest priests we have, not only in the Diocese of West Missouri, but in this Episcopal Church. Our beloved Archdeacon is a friend to many, especially me. And all the clergy here, every single one, both active and retired, are all just top draw. Draw, D-R-A-W-E-R, -E draw. And, and for those of you that are wondering, yes, it's northern New Jersey, it's not New York. Okay. And all of you, as you are bishop, I want to thank you for your faithfulness to this amazing church and its many, many ministries and to your loving care for each other and for this diocese. You make my heart full. So this is going to be the shortest sermon you've ever heard preached because, well, we've got a lot of confirmations today. And when I do them, it's kind of like halftime at the Super Bowl, but I'm not Beyonce. And I, I should clarify uh, that this is more, this sermon, this is what I'm about to share is more of a thank you all to you uh, than a sermon. Well, maybe a little bit of a sermon too. Just a little bit. Um, follow me and I will make you fish for people. St. Andrew dropped literally what he was doing and followed Jesus. He dropped one actual net to pick up a metaphorical one. I can't help but think that he had no idea what he was getting into. I also can't help but think about his family and friends. They must have been saying to themselves, what happened to the fish he was fishing for? What happened to his boat and his nets? Had Andrew lost his mind? Has he, has, did, did he go wonkers? What? No, 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 no. You see, Andrew was drawn to something so much bigger than himself. He was drawn into God's love and grace as offered freely by Jesus. And his invitation was to share that same love and grace with others. Follow me and I will make you fish for people. I see that in you all here at St. Andrews. You know, as we celebrate this patronal feast day today, I'm struck by how you all are not only caring for each other here at St. Andrews through your ministries with children, youth, 20s and 30s, adult Christian formation, music and worship, but how you are casting your net out into the community with the opening of HJs, which is an incredible outreach into the community. I think it's the most rocking thing I've seen in a long time. And it's a way to open your doors to those who would be hesitant to step through these doors, but that space, that space is that initial welcome that can not only draw them there for the good things that are happening there, but draw them here too. That's brilliant, brilliant. <laughs> It's a way, um, it's a way to, to welcome people drawn to God in Christ through that simple beauty of HJs. Follow me and I will make you fish for people. I wanna ask you all to please continue to cast your nets wide, to share God's love and grace with all who come through these doors, HJs doors. And well, let me just push a little bit. 
In your daily lives as you leave this sacred space each week, take a little Jesus with you. Take a little Jesus and spread the love. And know that I am grateful for each and every one of you and the difference you are making in this neighborhood and beyond. Know that you all are and will continue to be in my thoughts and prayers. Know you are much loved as you cast your nets out to bring more and more people to know God and to make God known. Thank you and amen. <laughs>